The war in Syria is one of the main factors fueling the refugee crisis, and now Denmark is trying to enforce tighter regulations on people looking to settle there. Lawmakers are set to approve what's been called the most misunderstood bill in Denmark's history. Let's take a closer look at some of these key details here. Now, authorities will have the power to search asylum seekers and confiscate cash or valuables worth more than $1,400, but necessities and sentimental items like wedding rings won't be taken. Now, family members will have to wait three years to be allowed in, affecting around one in five refugees in Denmark who have applied for temporary residency. And the government says it expects to take in around 25,000 people in the coming year. That vote is just about to happen. So let's go to Kilmeny Dukart now, who's live at the Danish parliament in Copenhagen. Kilmeny. Absolutely, Sally. Uh, this debate and the voting is actually underway right now as we speak. And of course, very, very controversial legislation. Danish politicians coming under heavy fire for it. We've heard why they want to do it, but I also want to talk to the politicians who are against it. Uh, with me right now is Pia Olsen Durr. She is the leader of the Socialistic People's Party. Pia, what has your party done to fight against this legislation? We have had debates in Parliament for, uh, firstly, and then we have also had debate in committee and with the, the general public of Denmark. And unfortunately, we do not have a majority in the Parliament against this, uh, this vote. And, and the primary focus for us is that it's going to take now three years for a refugee to come together with their families. And I think that is in, inhuman. Absolutely. Many human rights organizations saying that it's a violation of the European Convention. Uh, talk to me about the plight of these refugees under these new measures. I think it's going to be more difficult to be integrated in the Danish community. If you're not together with your family, you will focus much of your strength and your thoughts on the ones sitting left behind in the refugee camps in Lebanon or in Jordan or in Turkey. And I think it's important to be very much aware that they are going to be in Denmark for some years. And if they're going to spend time here, they have to be a part of the Danish society, not living uh, in separate uh, places from the rest of us, but together with the rest of us. And the best way of actually achieving that is to make sure that people can be with their family. Is your party going to be doing anything to try to turn this legislation around or make it easier for refugees to come here? Unfortunately, we don't have a majority with us in Parliament, but we will, of course, talk to the civil society. We will also ensure that we still have a debate on the digital uh, 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 platforms, for example, social media, uh, and we will have a focus still on this campaign. And I know that there are people internally in the different parties who are pro this vote who are very much against. So I hope that we can actually get them to raise also their voices. Well, that vote today is expected to pass with a majority. And of course, uh, when and if and when it does, those will come into effect in February. Kilwini, thanks very much for that.